Hey, kid. Do you, uh, you partake? You enjoy a good, uh, stogie every now and then? Who? Me? Yeah, man, I smoke, I smoke tons of cigars. I smoke cigars every day. I'm just, like, the biggest cigar smoker guy ever. All right, then. I love, nothing I love more than smoking a cigar in good company. Why don't you really? give that a try? I just picked them up. Great cigars. Thanks, man. Yeah, I, I love these cigars. I smoke them all the time. Appreciate it. One hour later. Okay, guys, he's fine. He's fine. No, he's not fine. A lot of new cigar smokers are turned off forever from this incredible hobby because they had a terrible first experience, they got sick, and they never want to see a cigar again. And I don't blame them. It's a shitty feeling. This is due to a lack of information and is mostly avoidable. Here's a list of ways that you can avoid nicotine sickness and enjoy this for a long time to come. First and most importantly, in my opinion, do not inhale the smoke of this cigar. Some people do like to inhale the smoke. Some people like to have sex with inanimate objects. We're not judging. Much. We're judging. There are plenty of reasons why you don't want to inhale the smoke of your cigar. But for the sake of this video, it's because you get a much larger concentration of nicotine in your system, which leads you to feeling not so good. So let's avoid inhaling the cigar. Next is eat something. Having something in your stomach will slow other things like nicotine and alcohol from entering your system, which will lead to a better experience. Then there is cigar strength. The stronger the cigar, the more nicotine it's going to have inside. So you're going to want to avoid a particular leaf called Lijero. If the cigar has Lijero in it, it's going to be a lot stronger. This comes from the top priming of the tobacco plant, which has been on the plant the longest and has the most sun exposure. So it has the most nutrient rich density in that leaf. So you're going to want to avoid any cigar with a Lijero leaf in it. At first, Lijeros have a lot of great flavor and once you get used to them, they are going to be some of your favorites. The next tip is to puff slower. The more you puff on the cigar, the more smoke you're going to have in your mouth, which means the more nicotine you're going to have in your mouth, leading to the tissues absorbing more of that nicotine, putting it in your bloodstream, making you feel a little woozy. So puff slower. There's a lot of benefits to taking your time, and that's one of them. Then there's not drinking too much. Alcohol and nicotine actually have some very similar side effects. They both get introduced to your bloodstream and they can make you feel really bad when consumed in excess. So you want to pair these together in moderation. If you do it correctly, this can be an amazing experience. If you do it wrong, it can be an unforgettable sickness that you've never had in your life. And finally, there's our last tip, which is proper humidity. The less humidity your cigar is going to have, the more smoke it's going to put out, which means the more nicotine you absorb. The more humidity your cigar has, the more water is introduced here, and fire and water don't get along very well. So you're going to have to puff on this cigar a lot harder, a lot more often, to get smoke. If you have the proper humidity, somewhere between 62 and 70, right there in that sweet spot in the middle, you'll be just fine. Now, if you do start to feel the symptoms of nicotine sickness, which is your heart rate increase, sweatiness, nausea, the spins, those can all mean that you've put a little bit too much nicotine in your system. One thing I like to do is drink a Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew has almost 100% of your daily recommended sugar intake in one can. So if you drink that, you'll probably feel better. But if you don't have a sugary drink on hand, a trick that Nick Perdomo taught me is to keep a sugar packet in your wallet and if you start to feel sick, put that sugar on the back of your tongue, let it sit there for like 20 seconds, and then drink a bunch of water to help introduce the sugar to your bloodstream. For some reason, that counteracts nicotine and you'll feel better in just a little bit of time. Earlier, we mentioned that you want to avoid strong cigars. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean you should avoid dark cigars. We have a whole video on this subject. Go check it out. Why you shouldn't judge a cigar by the color of the wrapper. I think you'll enjoy it.